What is up, YouTube? Gingy MC here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I'm going to be doing another PvP client review. Today's client that I'll be reviewing is the Bad Lion client. I've been meaning to make a review on this client for a long time. I just never got around to it, and this year they released their 3.0 update, which significantly improved a lot in the client. So, I want to make a video about it now. Badline Client 3.0 was released on January 31st, 2021, and what came in this update was significant. It was one of their biggest updates they've done in some time. Uh, but I think the biggest takeaway from this entire release was the FPS improvements. They significantly improved FPS on both high-end and low-end computers based on my opinion and as well as some of my other friends who have used the client since the 3.0 came out. If you guys would like to go ahead and read this article, I will link the article in the description box below. Here's where all the new features are listed at if you want to go through all that and see everything that comes in the client update. But the biggest takeaway, in my opinion, is the Better Frames 3.0 to improve your FPS. And honestly, it really helped me a lot on my current computer, which is a much higher end computer than what I used to use. Uh, so I know it would have improved it a lot on there. However, their newest release is Badline Client 3.2.2. This is what came with of 1.7 so it's so the client supports 1.7 it also came with uptime mod and a bunch of other stuff and bugs fixes and just quality of life improvements again you guys can go ahead and read this article if you guys would like i will leave this in the description box below as well what is the bad line client for those of you that may not be familiar with the bad line client it is a pvp client that supports versions 1.8 all the way up to 1.17 I am not sure if it supports 1.7, I think it does, but don't quote me on that. But I do know for a fact it supports 1.8 to 1.17. Badline Client is one of the more popular PvP clients and has been used by several YouTubers as well as just general community members within the PvP community. Badline initially started off as a Minecraft server, a strictly PvP Minecraft server. There wasn't really anything else other than PvP related types of games, uh, such as, you know, duels, Hunger Games, all that fun stuff. It was for more, um, I guess you could say, pro PvP, and it wasn't really mini game based, like, you know, how there's Skywars and stuff, which you can get a heck of an advantage just by having a good kit, or Blitz survival games. Again, you can get a hell of an advantage just by having a good kit. This was not like that. It was. I don't think there was really any kits in their survival games, but I do think they had a kit PvP. I'm not sure. Again, don't quote me on that. I really never played Badline because I'm not a very good PvPer, so I stuck with high pixels many games. For starters, I want to say that Badline Client comes with its own custom chat. It's a very compact version of chat, and in my personal opinion, I don't like the way this chat looks. And if you guys also do not like it, you guys can go ahead and click on this little settings icon or gear icon, whatever you want to call it, and then click on settings. And then you'll go to chat automatically and then just turn this off. And alternatively, you guys can open up your key, your um, mods menu by pushing right shift. And then you can click on the bad line settings here and go to chat this way. Now on to the mods that come with bad line. So they have different categories that you guys can, you know, section off the type of mods to whatever fits the type of game that you are playing. I'm just going to scroll through the mods just to show you all the different mods that they have. Again, they have plenty of mods for any type of gameplay. Um, just go ahead and mess around with them, see what mods you like, see what mods you don't like, you know, all that fun stuff. And again, there is additional settings inside of each of the mods. I'm not sure if all of them have it, but you can just click on it and you can go through and do some more customization to get a better vibe that you're going for, I guess works. And once you have selected all the mods you want and you guys aren't really liking the way your screen layout looks, you guys can click 
right here, enable GUI editing. This will open up your GUI and it will allow you to move around all the different models you have, whatever shows up on the screen, you guys can move it around, you guys can keep it bigger or smaller, whatever floats your boat. Under the bad line settings, you can go further with customization with all your different graphics. This is where you can edit the better frames to improve your frame rate. Mess around with the different settings on here, whatever whatever fits you, whatever makes your FPS um, better and may not be the same as mine, um, or maybe exactly the same as mine. All right, let's talk about performance because they claimed in the 3.0 update that it will improve your FPS rate significantly. You know, having the right settings and stuff or whatever, it'll help improve your FPS, give you guys a nice boost, and you know, just have a more smoother gameplay. So, from my personal experience using this client before the 3.0 update and after the 3.0 update, I can say for sure that for me, there is a significant improvement. However, I am not 100% sure if it's going to make a big difference on people that have like very high-end computers because um, clearly you guys already have like very high-end computers so you already are getting really good FPS. So having the 3.0 up, 3.0 on might not do anything for you um, and that's okay, you don't even have to turn it off. This is the Badline Client Launcher and right here at the BLC3 is where you can enable and disable Badline Clients 3.0. You can disable it if you don't think you need it, or you can just disable it to see you know, how your FPS is with it and without it. Now I think where I'm going to see the biggest impact is when I'm in PvP battles because we all know we've all been there where FPS drops during a PvP battle and you lose instantaneously. So. We're gonna play a few games and test that out. Granted, I am really bad at PvP, so honestly, it might not even make a difference. <laughs> I actually got them. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna cross that. See, I'm dumb, but I'm not that dumb. I am dumb for going into this battle. I'm just gonna get all of them here. That's fine with me. I don't need it. Ooh. Oh, see, <laughs> I am noticing a difference. I am. However, I'm still really bad at PvP, so it doesn't really matter. Well then, they had no gear, so that doesn't count. I wish they had like an actual pump. That would have been useful. Oh, you have gear. Oh, you have gear here. Hi. Bye. <laughs> ah! Okay. So for me personally, there definitely is a, an improvement using this client now versus before the 3.0 update. There has been a lot of FPS improvement for me, and I believe that it'll help all of you guys to have better frame rates because I know one of my biggest turnoffs for Badline Client was the amount of stuff that was in it. It didn't improve my FPS rate at all. If anything, it made it worse. And with this 3.0 update, I can say that it has significantly improved on that aspect. And I get same, if not better frame rates than I do using Lunar Client or other PvP clients that don't necessarily, that aren't necessarily as intense as Badline is. Not saying Badline's intense, they just have a lot of cosmetics and stuff that people will use on a constant and like their whole menu and they have a whole like Badline start menu and all this stuff and like just everything just like turns Badline. So I feel like a lot of that had a significant impact on my FPS prior to. In conclusion, I do recommend getting the Badline client if you guys are looking for a FPS boost client because this one definitely does improve FPS a lot um, and I can proudly say that I'll be using Badline more often than I did prior to. Thank you all so much for coming into today's video. If you guys have any questions about the client or if you guys have other clients you'd like for me to review, please leave them in the comment section below and if you did enjoy, hit the like button. Maybe, hit, maybe subscribe if you want to see more and hit the bell so you are notified whenever I upload new videos. With that being said, thank you all so much and have a great rest of your day. Or night. I don't know.
There's not a single day that passes without you on my mind. Not even one minute can end up before you come.